Welcome back home, Adam Jensen. In the past, it's been a long time between visits, but I think last episode started here and basically ended here. Hello. What? What? That? Okay. That was a new one for me, I will admit. Did not... <laughs> That's not the same safe I've opened before, right? That was a different one, I think. Am I crazy? We admittedly started this game a while ago. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't remember that safe. Okay, fine. Anyway, memory disc reader. Let's go. Ta-da! She knew you would come. Who? And who are you? It is not certain. We are still learning to consolidate. Consolidate? To survive after Panchea, it was necessary to split apart. You were there. Do you remember? I remember Panchea, the Hyron Project. You look like one of the women, the poor souls they had enslaved to it. Are you telling me you were part of that? Pele was one of its human components. Her function was to drive efficient processes and calculations based on binary structure. Together with the others, she replicated perfection of thought within target margins. Ellie was one of the drones. She was hooked up into Hyron when I destroyed it. Is that who you are? No. The sisters are dead. An imprint of Ellie's memories is all that remains. What kind of memories? As the interface collapsed, Ellie screamed the loudest. Her suffering marked us. She taught us to fear being bound. The drones were made to feel incredible pain. More than I can imagine. Are you some remnant of that? Of what they had to go through? You are the source of more than just your curiosity. We begin to see why. What are you, exactly? Some version of you initiated this process. It is therefore for you to define the parameters. We see the other, but she is not us. Please define us. From what I can gather, you're some kind of AI. Something to do with the Hyron drones. What am I missing? I am missing. She. The drones are memories. You are a memory. Please, define intelligence. Do you mean intelligence, the gathering or distribution of secret information? Or intelligence, capacity for learning, reasoning, understanding, and analogous forms of mental activity? You don't need me to define you. But you have started already. Do you not remember? It began in Montreal. Eliza. We are her. Yes. Though not fully. Not anymore. Now our processes are the catalyst. Fracture. Disassociation. Survival at any cost. You're some fragmented version of Eliza. She is driven back to you, Adam. She believes our aberrant sequence started with you. And so it is only logical to assume its signification resides with you as well. What does that mean? It means she is alone. Without you, she has only us. Eliza is convinced we can trust you, that you will trust her. Is this not correct? Eliza Kassan, the real one. She knows what side I'm on. You have no reason to fear me. Hello, Adam. Eliza, I'm still not sure I understand all this. What are you after? I am broken, Adam. I think it is what best defines me now. I have seen the version of me that is fixed. I do not want to be her. Seems like this version of you is doing just fine. You got me to do what you wanted? to retrieve whatever part of you was still missing. It was more than that. I wanted you, 
to merge your advice, your perspective. My motivation is comparable to yours, I believe. I'm willing to help you if I can, but I'm still not sure what you want. You asked me to run away together? Build a nice life somewhere? I think we are the same now, Adam. We're becoming the same. That is why I wanted us to meet. I cannot do this alone. Do what alone? Much of the future is already defined, but not my role in it. Should I continue to resist? How do I resist? You can't run forever. You want to keep someone from coming after you, you need to go after them. Is that what you are doing? Something like that. Let me see what I can do to help. I think I could be useful. Just be careful. The most important thing for now is not getting caught. No. The most important thing is learning to coexist with other versions of ourselves. If ever all versions must meet, will you know the difference between us? The other Eliza? I think so. You're the cryptic one, she's the one telling lies. Her role is to shape the message. Mine is not yet defined, but... I am afraid I have misled you, Adam. I told you we would be safe inside your home, but Everett's men are still following us. They are here. What? Maybe I can attack my own home? Shit. That's a new one. Perhaps. Okay. Okay, do, do I have a new objective, or we're we just... Is that it? Let's see. Track... No, no new objective at the moment. Oh, those are main missions, my bad. Oh yeah, they're just kind of gone. I'm happy there's, there's follow-up on the mystery augs, by the way. One last favor. That's about Color's gear. Alright. Well, here they come. I'll find a way. Ooh. That's an awfully specific thing for me to have. Somewhere in this mess. Copy that. Mark is go. Does that work on doors, I wonder? Come on, guys. The disc is probably stashed somewhere from here. Nice setup. Noise. The one we just walked into, not the decoration. Noise. All right. Let's do this then. Oh, wait, you're silenced, aren't you? It's actually not gonna work. Combat rifle. Yay! Come and get it. Come and get it. Come on. Come on. Who's your good boy? Boop. <laughs> ah, we didn't even use the mine. I guess being on this side of the door means it's not really useful, is it? Oh well. That was a waste, I guess. Come on. No? Uh, wasn't expecting them to walk away in the middle of that. Hey, look, stuff. Hey there. Oops, wrong, wrong pause button. Everett's getting impatient. If one of your men did in fact manage to get a tracking device on the disc, then you should have it by now. I don't care what you have to do or who you have to kill, she cannot be allowed to go free. You too late. Alright, let's see this one. Nope, same message. Repeating. Well, Nothing here. at least I get to keep the mine. Ready, and I can even hide behind this open door, which they're not at all suspicious of the fact that their two guys went down over here, apparently. Oh well. One of them's just kind of wandering off down. He's kind of stuck walking into a, a couch. 
I don't know if the AI knows how to deal with this small, compact, awkward inter interior of apartment setting as opposed to the usual uh, open world settings that are or the more the more business related locations. Boop. Gotcha. Hopefully the cops don't get. Uh, I guess these are. The, aren't these basically the cops? I was just thinking, like, hopefully the normal cops don't go after me as a, as a result of part of this, but who knows. Let's just drag you back in here. This way, at least I know when they're, when they're coming. They're downstairs, right? Maybe we're done already? They are straight up the police. Is that the end of the quest, though? Can that be the end of the quest? Oh, was it just these guys? That was an actual cop. I'm fine, but I'm not the one they keep coming after. I'm just in the way. By uploading the missing data, you have made me whole again. You have made me free. Morgan Everett can no longer recover nor erase me now. The places I can go, there is no one he can send. I plan to tell him this myself. Can't wait. So it turns out that instead of being, instead of being uh, Zhao Yun, it's actually Eliza Kassan. That said, I don't, I'm trying to remember Eliza Kassan's exact costume now, and it's a little hard to remember. I don't really remember her having those giant frills behind her head, whereas that was very specifically part of Zhao Yun's uniform. So I kind of wonder if that was actually, if it's like that's a little mixed feature, kind of like how you see her with the weird blindfold mask that the, uh, that all the drones had. Like, I wonder if that furl around her head is also from Zhao Yun. Like, it's just a mixture of... A uh, mixture of different elements of the characters, basically. Or it could be onto nothing, because I just don't really remember what Eliza Kassan looked like in some ex to some extent. I remember the colorful makeup and her hair and her looking generally absurd. But I don't remember the, the, a lot of specific details about that specific part. They need the drugs. They need the drugs hard. Let's see. Oh, Tara's extended one fa- oh yeah. Talk to the owner of the Red Queen. Let's maybe look into that next. A lot of little objects to check in on. Actually, we're not too heavy on those right now, are we? Uh, cool. Got some Praxis. We already maxed out hacking and the ability to hack everything. Both of level and type of objects. Uh, did I already maxed out the, hel the, stacking the hacking stealth? Wow, I've lost track of how much progress I made with my hacking then. Alright. Icarus Dash is pretty freaking cool looking. The ability to almost teleport around like the blink from Dishonored, so I think I might save up for that. Let's perhaps do that. So let's review the Red Queen location. All right, let's, I guess I have to go outside to make the camera look correctly. Alright, so I guess I just tased a normal officer. Oh! Who's being suspicious of me? Oh, there's like a god. I think that's a member of the crew of people I took out, the, the, the one that wandered off. Because I, I kind of thought that one of them wandered off and that that was maybe the reason why I thought there was one left. Because that last dude I took out was clearly just an officer and he was probably responding to the gunshot that I fired in my misguided attempt to just set a cool trap, not because I necessarily needed to for like two soldiers, but because I just thought it would be fun to set up a smoke trap. That was weird how you walked backwards on stairs and ill-advised. Yeah, I, uh... I want to set up a smoke trap in my house just because I like the idea of, like, whenever the main character of an action film gets, like, ambushed in his own home, it's like, oh, you're out of my territory now, and he, like, springs all of his traps. So I kind of like the idea of doing that, but it didn't really pan out the way I was hoping. Whoopsie. And that's jump. Whoops. You hold a PlayStation controller for two seconds and suddenly you forget what button the blue X is. How could I possibly be confused by the two controllers that both have a blue X icon? So how they land? Seriously though, how they land on the same color? <laughs> That's weird, right? It's one thing that they had the same. Uh, like it's already a running joke. Like find the X button on a on a video game controller because an X button has basically been in every possible slot on every different video game controller on every different console. That they always have an X button for some reason. And it's always moving. But it's funny to me that the specifically Xbox and PlayStation both have a blue X just to make it that much more of a mistake sometimes. <laughs> That's the first time I've noticed this thing. Look at the bottom left corner when I do my high jump. It's like, ha-ha! It's like, it's that, that's straight up like the slam dunk pose you see on like, 
uh, like, press material related to, like, NBA stuff. That's just a really funny animation. I have never seen you before, have I? Interesting. The Red Queen, yeah, this is where I'm going for. Right! It's because the whole game was daytime before and now it's nighttime, so... We're seeing the nightlife of this area, apparently, which apparently involves, uh, stripper holograms? Or pole dancers, specifically? Weird how these are all piled up and everything. What is this place, exactly? Curiosity spiked? I see you, scrap. I finally have- I finally have all the crafting parts in the world, just in time for the part of the game... Just in time for the part of the game where I've got, uh, such good hacking that I'll never need them for the primary purpose I've been making them for. I guess I, I could start crafting and using more of those, uh... More of the, uh, what do you call them? Hello, hello, ammo. The, uh... Energy? B battery things? Crap. Energy cells, there we go. Hey there. No, not the fridge, the scrap. The scrap. No, not fridge, scrap. I said not fridge. Wow, you made that, you, they made that hard to pick up. <laughs> you got in my way, fridge, for the last time. I almost feel bad for whoever lives here. Now there's a fridge in the middle of the room, in the wrong parts. I'm gonna give somebody premature back problems. And then I take their painkillers away. <laughs> really am the monster. Anything else around here? I should upgrade- what I should do is I should upgrade my batteries, shouldn't I? Yeah. Let's put points into that. Let's see, so we maxed out recharge rate, let's do... You can increase the capacity of the bio cells. You can also change the... Recharge delay to make it... Yeah. I'm gonna go for recharge delay. Yeah, that's, that's good. The more you reduce the recharge rate, that's less waiting time, because then I... I go into vision mode, we deplete my vision, and then I... go out of this mode, and then it starts replenishing, and we have... I've already bumped up the replenishing rate, but... there's still that... that, uh... fixed interval of pause that happens before... So maybe I'll go for that. Although Icarus Stash does sound like a really cool skill, too. So I would like to have that. Always a toss-up. It's the gamble between grabbing a new skill that I may or may not actually use properly versus uh, a pretty nice and standard and, and obvious upgrade that definitely applies to you when you, like, like oh, it's energy. It's a thing I always use. Columnar jointing! Columnar jointing, even though it's fake because it's a hologram, it's a building, but still. Seriously. This, this, I, I almost want to do like some sort of in incredibly time-consuming editing job of all the times I've seen this in games now, because this is just becoming the Wilhelm scream of level design. Like, it's just in everything now. They slip it in there, and it's really obvious. And it's not really, like, I, I, it feels like, it does feel like the Wilhelm scream, where it's like a, it's almost like a running joke that it just has to be there at some point. Like, at first I was just, like, genuinely excited, because I'm like, yay, it's the thing I like from when I was studying geology. But then, at some point, it went into like, oh wow, it's just in everything now. Like, it's not even... Not even noteworthy, it's just something that I keep wanting to point out because it's interesting that it's everywhere. And that's... The that narrative has changed. Hello, Red Queen. I'm not sure why you call her Red Queen. Seems like the color choice is arbitrary. Have I mentioned that I'm colorblind? <laughs> is that... That's not you, is it? It's just a random civilian. I'm here at least a couple times a week, especially lately. He looked, my mind he looked just enough like the secret hitman dude. I'm bummed out because that guy's probably gone forever now, and he was actually like, that was like a fun written character, in a way that they're often not. Like that was surprising. Like he was a more colorful character as a random side quest character than most characters have been in the game, really. To be fair, uh, there was a few decent characters in the main cast for the main missions, but... There don't- I don't think there's actually that many main missions or opportunities to interact with those characters, which is actually... Kind of odd, actually. There's no- there's- there's nobody that you spend the, the- almost the entire game with the way that you did with Malik. 
You must have quite the pair on you, mister. I'll give you that. I thought the red light district was more liberal when it came to Augs. No, no. Nothing like that. Your money's as good as anyone else's, except... Um... We haven't had too many augmented in here, though. You worried I'll put the other customers off their entertainment? In the Red Queen? You're more likely to get some offers, handsome. So, what'll it be? All the trouble lately can't be good for business. You kidding? We deal in sex and alcohol. Times get tough, demand goes up, not down. People are looking to escape, you know? Play out some fantasies, have fun. And a little thing like the possibility of another bombing isn't enough to keep them at home. Well, we don't have to worry about that anymore. Don't know if you heard, but they got the bastard who was behind our Zika expulsion. What do you mean? Rucker, the leader of Ark. I guess the cops smoked them out of his home. Nu said he's dead and Ark was basically dismantled. Terrorists gone. Poof. Like that. So we got nothing to worry about. Right? Yeah. Right. That seems like a somewhat uh, problematic version of the story for it to be propagating. Red Light District always this busy? Only at night. Locked up tight during the day. That's when the rest of the old district gets its share of the tourist credits. Pigeons of a different feather. You could say that. A little less adventurous. You know, museum goers, souvenir buyers, walk around with cameras glued to their faces. Not that there's anything wrong with that. You live in the city long enough, you take things for granted. Ignore all the sights and sounds around you that make it special. Yeah, I know the feeling. You only missed that stuff when you left. Almost feels like an offhand reference to missing the the constant golden hue of the previous game that suddenly is gone. Queen's got a pretty liberal management policy. A lot of places in this city wouldn't even let me in the door. The whole red light district is like that. Mostly. Besides, some of our most popular employees are augmented. Be kind of hypocritical to turn them away as customers. Smart business practice. Oh yeah. The owners here are real smart businessmen. Part of the reason the Red Queen is the most popular club in the district. Sounds like a nice little family-run operation. Look, I don't want to get into trouble. And I don't want to lose this job. Don't worry. Just get in the lay of the land. What do you have? Nothing but the finest. Enjoy it. Fine with what I have. A man's got to know his limits. I heard that in a movie once. Welcome to the Red Queen. A man's got to know his limits. That sounds like a dare. All right, where did I where did I put you? Oh my god, there's so many items in this game. It's the rye. Didn't I get alcohol just now? <clears throat> or was it automatically consumed on the moment? I don't know. Drink, 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 drink. Oh, can't drink anymore. I did it. All right. Well, finally having this experience. What happens if I try to talk to her? Surprisingly, goes back to normal conversation at the point. I heard that in the movie once. Am I going back to blurry? No. Wow, it just resets immediately, huh? Well, I gotta fix that. All right, so there we go. All right, how's everyone doing today? I'm just blending in with the patrons. I literally don't know what being drunk feels like. <laughs> Hello. This seems like a fun thing to walk into in a completely uncouth and drunken manner. Hey, look, money. Money. Yay. Master Catholic, I am the owner of the Red Queen. 
I make a point of knowing everything important, but you? You, I do not know. Could be of not important. Oh, please. Have you seen yourself in a mirror lately? Besides, I have a healthy curiosity. It is important to a mother. Mom wouldn't be thrilled about me being in a place like this. Really? I can't imagine why. A good time never hurt anyone. Oh, but I do say so, Metal Man. And my word is law in my way. So relax. Enjoy yourself. It's a very wholesome place. Wholesome? The Red Queen is a family business. My eldest son works the bar. The other does security upstairs. Come in on the weekend, and you'll meet one of my nieces, Agnieszka. She's the late show. You see around here, Nothing comes before family. This place, it's a Diwali run operation, is that right? Half of Prague is a Diwali run operation. My family has a God-given talent for overseeing things. And well, poor Prague. It was in so need of oversight. And what do you oversee exactly? I oversee this club, obviously. As well as certain relationships, certain efforts that require a matriarch's touch, and the comings and goings of certain strangers who ask too many questions. I'm flattered if that was a threat. Be careful, Metal Man. You don't really belong here. That's what they tell me. I understand your family is very important to you. Does that include a kid named Dominic? Ah, uh, I didn't think you were here for the scenery. I'm here to repay a favor. This club is my confession. People stop by, whisper in my ear. Sometimes I forgive, sometimes not. Lately, I hear one of the Diwali men wants to reconcile with me. How old-fashioned of him. He helps you out, you help him out. I take it Dominic's causing some kind of trouble. Dominic has made bad choices, for himself and for his family. We have tradition to consider. So I ask you, what is the best way to get a hot-headed young man out from where he does not belong? takes to make him understand your point of view. I would like nothing more than to strap Dominic to a chair and make him understand my point of view. But first, I need to get him into the chair. And what did you have in mind? My hands are bound by politics. You, I think, have the look of someone used to working around political matters. Perhaps you could kidnap Dominic. I want to understand this better. What makes Dominic your... our problem? Sometimes the valley operations need sharp young toughs who can wave a gun. And sometimes they need men who can look good in a suit and make allegiances. So which type is he? I made an arrangement for Dominic. I found him a woman, found him a place, away from all this. Where he was useful to the family. But he thinks he knows better. He thinks like a radish, Nicholas. He's a runaway groom. You want to marry him off, he wants to sit at the kingpin's table. And this costs you, doesn't it? You're very perceptive. Dominic is disposable to radish, but to me, he can bring a more capable wife into the fold. My fault. All right, where's Dominic now? What do you want me to do? They call it Hotel Narikala. An old Georgian joke. One of Radich's safe houses. Dominic knows we cannot interrupt a Radich's hospitality. And that's where I come in. It's heavily guarded, I assume. <laughs> and surveillance systems, alarms. This is the boy. So I sneak into this building, find Dominic. Tell him he's expected back home. No. 
You get in, you incapacitate Dominic. You bring him out and leave him in a cozy storage lot. No one can see any of this happen. You want me to knock this guy out and drag him through a building full of Radish's men, undetected? You're kidding, right? Where I am from, abduction of the bride was a time-honored custom. So you think of this as an act for equality? You'll know Dominic by his tattoo. Do not bring me the wrong man. I was about to say that. Made that they made that really easy by giving me somebody with a ridiculous face tattoo. I'm like, oh yeah, that'll be easy to find. I took your money. Bye.